Hi guys. So on today, rather it's just basically the same day that I did this makeup. But today we are going to remove my makeup basically because I don't sleep or walk around looking like this. After I filmed a makeup tutorial, I definitely remove the makeup. First of all, I get comfy like in this shirt dress that I've just worn. And then I remove my makeup. So we're going to go step by step just removing my makeup, talking about random things. And yeah, so that we can see the naturalness of ourselves. <laughs> Hey, if you're new to my channel, my name is Naninga Koei. Sorry for not introducing myself, but I'm tired of introductions. Yeah, so we are removing our makeup. Let's remove it. So the first thing I normally do is basically I just toss off the wig. Oh, and I'm just like, free, finally, at last. Then after tossing off the wig, ignore the white hairs. I have premature white hair syndrome. I don't know what that is, but it's a syndrome, I guess. Is there such a thing? I don't know. I do not know. Tell me in the comment section what you call premature graying. Is it called premature graying? Is it a disease? Is it a syndrome? But basically now we look fabulous and young like school children. By the way, I normally condro my own hair because <laughs> I'm cheap like that. Yeah, so next, and also I don't want my hair to break. So next, I normally just take off the lashes because, oh God. And I normally just cut by the way, guys, that's a little secret. If you want to look like a butterfly, use half a lash. Use just half, half a lash. Like this is half a lash. Don't know whether you can see it. Oh, God, it's sticky. It's half a lash. It's not a full lash. As you're going to see, it's half. It's not full. So, oh, God, that is tough to remove. Yeah, so I just remove, basically. So what do you guys want me to talk about now that I've written the title is going to be a chatty, get ready, and ready with me? Well, we can talk about my favorite color. My favorite color is green. I always have green in every makeup look. So that's something you should know. Maybe if you're interested, I don't know. Are you interested in knowing my favorite color? Then I normally have makeup wipes. Not makeup wipes, just any type of wipes. I'm not particular. I'm not particular. I know sometimes people say, not sometimes, I guess researchers have said, but nowadays I don't listen to any researchers. Okay, I do listen because it helps, but, you know, lots of things we've been told do these turn out to do the opposite. So it's kind of like weird. So I just use any wipes. Like now I'm using this bouncy baby wipes. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just removing. Basically, I start with makeup wipes because that is just easier to do. Because if you just go in with soap or your face wash and the makeup is like a whole cake. Wow. It's going to be messy. So I just take like two makeup wipes. Where's my mirror? Because I'm doing this on a bed. It's kind of hard. So I just basically start. I'm just going to use this camera here. So I just start with my eye makeup, which I'm going to do first. Eye makeup first. Uh, and it's usually kind of hard to remove, especially after I've used that primer, that eyeshadow primer. So I just remove and try my best and hope that it comes up, including the fake eyebrows. So that has gone off well. And be careful, like some things are not supposed to enter the eye. So I just kind of try and remove half the face first. That's just how I normally do it, by the way. Oh my god. Hmm, I think I better take a thumbnail <gasps> with half the face first. So guys, I'm forgetting that it's supposed to be a chatty. <laughs> Get on ready with me. 
I don't know what to talk about. I'm a really quiet person in person, like in in real life. I mean, this is also real life, but like off YouTube, I'm really quiet. I'd say I'm an introvert. Duh, that's why I spend so many hours behind a camera on the weekend when I'm supposed to be having fun and running around. God, I just wish this COVID goes really, really fast so that it may go away. My son has been miserable. He wants to go to the playground and he cannot go because there's COVID. So I just make sure that all the makeup at least has gone off. Oh God. From the corners of my eyes. As you can see, that Nivea has really worked on the acne. Like the acne was really, really bad. But it's worked. It's done its work. It's still doing its work. Like I still have numerous spots, but it has tried. Then... Next thing that I normally do, after doing that, this is so disgusting, I throw them away. Then I take this Medimix, which I talked about in my video that I've really been loving. Basically, it's a face wash. Then I wash. Next, I'm going to take this rose water and some cotton wool. My cotton balls ended, so I'm just going to take normal cotton wool and dip it in the rose water. Or basically, just pour a generous amount. Now, this is what I normally use as a toner, for those of you who don't know. And I just, like, basically go crazy with it. I don't know whether it's supposed to go into the eyes or not. They've not said anything on the packaging, but it's fine. Yeah, now, before anybody comes in the comment section with things like, Oh my god! oh my god you're doing it wrong do this do that i suggest that you start your own youtube channel and teach people how to do the right method yes but anyway <laughs> i don't appreciate hate that's what i'm trying to say because this is just a get and ready with me which is what i always do yeah before you come here and tell me oh my god that's exactly what is causing your acne hmm i'll just laugh <laughs> but anyway we are not here about the bad stuff we are here about the good stuff another little thing that you don't know about me is that i hate going to the salon with a passion with a passion with a passion i hate my hair being touched by anybody other than me that's why i wear wigs that's why i love wigs and that's why i thank god for the person who brought wigs into this world it's just not so that I can look like I have white people hair. But it's just so that I can be free from salons. Sorry, guys. If you work in a salon, if you own a salon, I'm sorry. I'm just one of the few people who might never be a client there. But... If you are perfect and radius luminous... Oh, yes, and I also removed the acrylic nails because who goes around with those nails? Those people who do tell me in the comment section, how do you survive? How do you survive? So I either usually just remove them or trim them. But today I've just opted to remove them because I want to be free. Free like a bird. Yeah, so this is the Nivea Perfect and Radiant Luminous Anti-Dark Mask Serum. Please no hate. Over here, we are all about image positivity. We are all beautifully made. We are all uniquely made. And if you feel like you're not perfect, just look look at the skin. Surely, just look at it. Look at these gray hairs. Like, they legit. <sighs> but we are all perfect. We made. So, keep doing you. Okay? Keep doing you. And you will be happy both inside and outside. And you won't even care what the world says. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I know this video was neither here nor there. But I just thought somebody might need to see me getting unready. And not looking fabulous. But still looking like a normal person. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. If you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Like, you've reached this point in the video. Like, seriously, like, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.